are times we find ourselves in circumstances that can be confusing or just hard to navigate and make the mistake of saying or doing the wrong thing. Yes, so today we are looking at situations that have a sometimes subtle code of conduct and how to mind your manner so you do not ruffle any feathers. And let's start with a place that currently is enjoying its traditionally busiest time of the year, the gym. Yes, we are shaping up our gym etiquette to make everyone's fitness experience a smooth one. And that is our featured story at the top of the list. For anyone who's new or just coming back to the gym, those first couple of days can be intimidating, but they don't have to be. I want people, when they come into my facility or wherever they go, that they feel empowered. We met up with Scott Keppel, owner of Scott's Training Systems in Chandler, Arizona, to make everyone's fitness experience a positive one with a friendly reminder of some essential rules of gym etiquette. We have to find a way to coexist yeah. the, the lifers with the newbies, right? For sure. And definitely gym etiquette helps with that. Yes. We begin with some pointers on equipment care. Certainly after the pandemic, people are even more aware of where what their hands are touching. I say bring your own towel, and when you're done, just wipe down your equipment. It's always better to err in the way of wiping your equipment down, even if you didn't really sweat than not to. And if you use handheld equipment, make sure things go back where they belong. So it's one thing to put your dumbbells where they belong. That's a little easier, but if you're doing bench, take the plates off, because not everyone might be as strong as you. They might not even be able to lift that 45 pound plate off, let alone the 10 that you left on. Right. No one needs to be impressed with how much you did. <laughs> Do your way, put it away, go on to your next thing. And because we live in the age of social media, let's cover phone etiquette. My philosophy on this is, you know, I get it. Like Instagram's big, TikTok's big. You want to get a selfie because if you didn't, like no one believes that you're at the gym. I, I got it. But again, just be mindful of the people around you. Someone might be waiting for that piece of equipment as well, too. I have to send this real quick. Quick text. Because the reality is this too, is if you're so focused on your phone, you're not focused on the workout. Mm -hmm. And if you're telling me you're there to make gains, whatever those may be, like then I don't really believe you if you're spending most of your time on your phone. Ultimately, everyone's working hard to reach their goals. So our final tip highlights the importance of building an encouraging community. For those lifers, like welcome the newbies. You don't have to be their coach, you know, but encourage them and they don't feel like they're in this big gym by themselves. Great job. But at the same time. Reading the room is huge and I think it's a gift. You know, if someone has their AirPods in, headphones on, they probably don't want to be bothered. In every fitness journey, consistency is key. And when you find a community of like-minded people for support, you're more likely to stick with it. And study upon study shows, like again, when you have an accountability partner, you're more likely to achieve whatever goal it may be. Well, also it's just, I mean, instead of going, I have to go to the gym, I get to go to the gym and hang out with like-minded people. And these people are pretty cool. And then I kind of feel good afterwards. Right. So win-win all around. Exactly. Helping you achieve your gym goals with these etiquette rules is at the top of the list.